And I think I have a particular person I really... Okay, no, no, first of all, we gotta go explore. First, we have to go explore. We have to go explore. There's so much to explore just yet. So much to find, so much to see, so much to do around here. First of all, Monokuma, Monokuma, Monokuma. No little Monokumas anyway, so I think we're okay for now. Let's go explore. Let's see the world. Let's see what is entailing with us here. Oh, hi, robot. How's it going? I need to go too. Hi, Chabashira. We'll talk to you later. I don't want to really hang out with her just yet. I want to explore this way. There's still so much to see, so much to do, so much to check out, you know? I need, I need to see this. What do we got? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, we did see this before. I'm not 100% sure, sure what this represents. There are a lot of weird things around all over the campus here. Anything over there? Okay, just a robot patrolling. Um, this way. Let's see what this place is all about. What is all this? Did we go inside? Ultimate Adventure Lab. It's locked. I guess I can't enter. Interesting. I'm guessing that's probably where Miu might be able to hang out, since it is the Ultimate Adventure Lab. Oh, I wonder if they're making labs for everybody. They got the Music Lab. The Ultimate Music Lab. They got the Ultimate Adventure Lab. I guess they'll have a gym somewhere? They got this canary-looking place here. I'm not 100% sure what this is supposed to be. What is he doing over there? Okay, just doing machinery stuff. I wonder what this place is. The Shrine of Judgment. It gotta be for a tour, right? It has to be for a tour. Oh! Hello! That's new! Monokuma statue. Statue is Monokuma, right? Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and leave. We're gonna go ahead and leave. We're gonna leave the statue here. Sorry, Gonta. You can admire the statue if you want, man. I'm gonna go ahead and skedaddle a lot of here. Where can we go now? Let's see, so we got we got plenty of places we can go to over. Uh, where can we go to that we haven't been to just yet? There's this place where we can't enter just yet. Not sure exactly what it is, but we need to find some sort of a shape and put it in there to open whatever this castle looking thing is. Interesting. We also have the backyard. We probably should check the backyard here. Over yonder this way. And see if maybe there's something in the sewage we can find by any chance. Maybe somebody is there. Actually, now that I think about it, we should probably check the map here, right? Probably check no, that's not the map. Check check the map here and see who is where. So here's we got front entrance. Plaza in front of the entrance. We got a couple people in the rooms just chilling back. Shuichi, we could hang out with Shuichi a little bit, possibly. Yeah, yeah, let's go hang out with Shuichi a little bit. Get the dormitory. Katakamatsu's room. Sean. Judgment, what else we got here? We got school building 2, second floor. Mm hmm. I don't want to hang out with them just yet. Anybody here that I can go hang out with? I kind of want to. Mm. I either want to hang out with Maki or Shuichi. I feel like we can get to know Maki a little bit. She likes Morning Lake Shores, but I still don't really know what she likes in particular. Oh yeah, let's check on Tsumigi real quick. We did uh, learn a little bit about Tsumigi. Where's Tsumigi at? There she is. Communication is key for cosplayers. Might not understand each other, but she seems to get pretty excited about typical otaku topics. Might be able to get along. I feel like some of the simple gifts we can give, like, like drinks and stuff, might be pretty easy for our very first starter gift, possibly. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. So I think we can hang out with Maki. And if you have any more free time, probably be hang out with Shuichi a little bit, get to know those two. But I kind of want to get to know Ma Maki, I feel like we can definitely get to know her a little bit more and learn a little bit about her. So, let's head over and uh, hang out with Maki. There we go. Let's go building one, and she should be around here somewhere. I think. Let's see if we can look for her. There she is. Hi, Maki. How are you doing? Jeez. Feels like we had just given out ultimate talents on a whim. Now we're in a lousy situation. Being, ult being ultimate sucks. Should I spend one time with Maki? Yeah, we're gonna hang out with her. We're gonna try to get to know her a little bit. <sighs> I don't know why I'm com complaining to you. You're stuck here too. Maybe there's time to be complaining. I'd rather spend time... But I'd rather spend it being productive. Well, let's hang out. It'd be a little productive, I guess. Spend some time searching around the school for clues on Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. 
Would you like to give Maki a present? Uh, definitely. Yes, please. What can we give her? I don't know what she likes, though. That's the thing. I don't know what she likes. What would she like? Bubble... Bubble bomb gum. A, bu a gum that makes an explosive sound when it's fully blown and popped. We hardy people should not chew it. British candy that's made about boiling down sugar, condensed milk and butter, added maple syrup, it's real sweet. I could probably give her like oolong tea or something, I don't know, something simple, something easy. Yeah, I think I'll give her like oolong tea or something. You know, it seems like, it, mm, what you like? Popular drink with a bunch of uh, tapioca balls at the bottom, chewy of tapioca balls are made from the root of a uh, cassava plant. Ginger tea, hot water with green ginger in it, it warms the body and prevents cold, it is delicious with honey mixed in. I could maybe give her ginger tea? I guess? Yeah? Yeah, I'll give it tea. Gin tea? That's fine. Mm. Oh. You're surprisingly bad taste. If you don't want it, then I don't mind keeping it. Oh. Well, shit. Um... Okay. Now. I don't know, I... To be completely honest, I actually have no idea what we can go off of here, honestly. I guess... I mean, I could probably, probably look up a, like a, a gift guide for certain characters, right? Just to make it a little bit easier, just to kind of figure out what it is, to tr truly maximize the relationship with them. Granted, we don't know who's gonna be alive, we don't know who's gonna, you know, we don't know who's gonna live, we don't know who's gonna die. I know a death is gonna happen, because this is Danganronpa. So characters are gonna die. So it's best we focus on getting to know the characters as much as possible. Technically, I could use a gift guide to try to figure out what it is, because... I don't want- I don't really want interactions where we, like, we toss away a gift and then nothing really happens. I'd rather, if we give somebody a gift, it actually has some sort of meaning. And I could, you know, give us some sort of benefit. Obviously, you know, if I really want a true immersive experience, no guide should be used, clearly. But, if I need to, I guess I'll try a guide- okay. Trial and error. Well, we're gonna try trial and error. A popular drink with a bunch of tapioca balls. Okay. I kind of want to try boba tea because it seems like it's a popular drink. Granted, this ginger tea, she doesn't like ginger tea. I'm not 100% sure what explains it. Maybe she might like non alcoholic drink of Maybe not. I, I don't. Maybe bunny apples? I don't know. She's like ultimate caregiver. Apples cut into bunny shapes, often used as bait for certain animals and insects. Then maybe. Oh, wait. No. I Okay. I, I know who's going to use this. I know who's going to like this then. I know who's gonna like this. Gonta is gonna like this instead. Hmm. Rock hard ice cream. Not can be carried around for a long time, even in summer. So hard ordinary spoons can penetrate it. Interesting. Greek yogurt. Various dishes. British candy is made by bowling. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try boba tea. Please work. Please work. Well. I didn't think I would get something like this from you. But I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? Does that mean it worked? I don't know. In Danganronpa 1, we had a sound that kind of like like a little chime that rings in like, Oh, a character actually really liked it, or they somewhat liked it, or like liked or loved it, you know. It doesn't really give me that sign here, so I hope it's a good thing. You're a little much our give, caregiver, aren't you, Maki? What are you talking about? Yeah, what of it? You know? Nothing. I just thought I'd be more worried about the kids. Huh? Kids? I see. Oh, you mean the kids at the orphanage? Yeah. Yeah. Will they be okay without without their caregiver? So what? That'd be fine. Even if I'm not around, those kids should know how to take care of themselves. Hmm. Really? That's true. At least where I grew up, we had to learn how to take care of ourselves. Of course, the older children care for the younger ones until they're old enough. There's several other uh, uh, older kids there, so it should be fine. Um. But I'm sure they're like a big, they're like a big sister to those kids. Must miss you terribly. Like I'd know. I wonder about that. Honestly, I don't know why kids are so attached to me. I probably just want someone to spoil them. It doesn't necessarily have to be me. Uh. Don't say that. Chuichi also mentioned that he couldn't see Maki as the ultimate child caregiver. Or maybe 
She doesn't want people to find out she's worried. Maki does seem pretty reserved. What is it? Is that all? You just want to ask me that? Um... No, uh... Well, I also wanted to know what child caregivers usually do. <sighs> what do you usually do? So what? Normal stuff. I play with the kids and make sure they don't do anything stupid. When it's time for the afternoon nap, I sing them lullabies or read them books. I see. That's pretty normal. Ew. And what you expect? You know? Like, some kind of super duper high school level ultimate child care technique. This is stupid. Oh, okay. That's stupid. Nothing like, nothing like that exists. Yeah. That has to be love. Your deep love is the reason why they like you so much. I told you. What does love mean to you? Don't hesitate about having a benevolent heart. Have to love children? Um... Don't hesitate? It's about having a benevolent heart? You have to love children? Is this...? Oh, please don't, please don't... Mm. I just figured out that she actually maybe likes the uh, drink. Now we're gonna be quiz on love. You have to love children? It's about having a benevolent heart? Don't hesitate... Benevolent heart? Don't hesitate? What do I enter? Can I save? No, I cannot even save. Shit. I'm gonna mess this up, aren't I? I'm gonna mess this up. Don't hesitate? That's right! Don't hesitate. What? Huh? You know? I think you gotta let, let love into your heart so you can act without any hesitation. Well... Are you talking about emotions? I have to act on my feelings first. And that feeling is love, right? Well, that is if I had any. Of course! The feeling of cherishing someone is an emotion that everyone naturally has. When you build up the feeling, it becomes love, don't you think? You know? Kids probably felt a uh, feel you felt your love, Maki. <sighs> I'm right already. Is that all? Then I'm going I can't tell if she's blushing or not. She's really pale. Huh? Maki? She left. I feel like she was annoyed. Or was she just being shy? We got a fragment! So is that good? I, I can't tell. I actually cannot tell. Did we do good? Did we do bad? Maki's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. I I th I think that's a, I think that's progress. After parting ways with Maki, who left in the huff, I returned to my room. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Did we do well? Did we do bad? Oh. There's Mata Kid. Drunken Honey, apparently. This is the official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. So. As you can see, Mata Kid has a, has a little too much honey. I see. I was really, really happy about Daddy Return. Daddy yeah. return. Now let's play darts. Mata Dem can be the dartboard. And let's go bowling. Mata Dem can be the ball. Poor Mata Dem gets bullied. Yeah, but. By the way, which announcement were we making? Hmm. Nighttime announcement. Hmm? What, that's already that late? I wish you'd go to bed soon. Eh, uh, Monica's already in bed. Bedtimer sign! Bedtimer sign. <sighs> it's already night time. This way, the time limit will expire before we know it. Will it? But I won't lose. I won't give up. Because I want to see everyone smile just a little longer. Just spend time with them, laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So I won't give up. Okay. Oh, back to Monokuma Theater. Oh boy. Oh! The Monokuma. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <gasps> that card has Celeste on it! Oh, shit. And it has the Monokuma bottle. The bottle that was used in, what, the, uh, second, in the second game's. No, in the first game's case. In the first game's case. <gasps> oh, shit. Interesting. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. But you can't give her any presents. Gotta be a present suited to her tastes. And it's gotta be a hand handmade present, too. So it looks like you put thought into it. Well, we didn't really give uh, Maki a handmade present, but we did have a kind of a struggle figuring out what she would like. For example, the kind of lady who is into strong men would love a handmade. Pro wrestling group. Pro wrestling group. She will love being surrounded by macho dudes. You will make money of the wrestlers, too. But now if wrestlers get popular, then it might be good to host a big event. And after they're done beating each other up, they can fight other pro wrestling groups. Let's give it a shot, and I'm positive you'll win her heart. 
ladies that watch the uh, videos, com please confirm or deny about the pro wrestling group. Would y'all be, you be surrounded by wrestling buff guys? <laughs> oh my god. And he's, and he's asleep. This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. I, I never can nail down, uh, what's his name again? Monosuke, Monosuke's voice ever, whatsoever. It is it is 8 a.m. Time to wake up. Let's have a wonderful killing school semester today. <sighs> and he is still asleep. Oh. Jeez, Mario can't really drink too much honey. How long is he gonna keep sleeping? Ah. Oh, by the way, father's time time limit expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. So long. Farewell. Farewell. Oh, I don't know. It's not really. We're not really gonna bear well. Perfectly fine, but eh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Time limit ends tomorrow, right? Tomorrow night. Shuichi is gambling on that, which means we have to watch the library while time is running out. Shouldn't we start preparing then? I'm getting worried. Uh. Shuichi, perfect timing. So is this. Uh. Shuichi, I want to ask you something. But as soon as I answer the door. Manakuma is on the scene! Oh, too bad, it's me. <laughs> it hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. Hmm. But it hurts, but it hurts so good all the all the all the time, all the same. jeez. Uh, yeah. What do you want? Hey. Um... I, I figure I can't let you know that some of the research labs are open. Huh? You mean the ultimate research labs? Those classrooms tail to our sixteen talents? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. The lab is finally all set up, so you can go whenever, in whenever you want. Thrills, chills, kills. Now go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a mysterious melody. Stop it. Mysterious melody? What are you even talking about? And another thing. So, um, are you gonna invite me inside to put you or something? Ah, uh, jeez. No, of course not. Well then. Thanks, Marakuma. And slam the door on Marakuma's face with all my might. Aww. Jeez, that was super annoying. Jeez. God, how annoying. Who is it this time? Please. Enough already! You're bothering me! Oh! oh. Whoops! Sorry, Shuichi. I'm sorry. Should I come back later? Uh. Shuichi, uh, sorry, I just ignore what I said. Um. I want to talk to you too, Shuichi. I was warning. Shuichi, Shuichi, ugh. Sorry. I was wondering if you need anything for the plan. Uh, um. That's what I want to talk to you about. I might know how to keep watch on the library. Huh? Weren't you planning on hiding inside the library and keeping watch from there? Hmm. If we did that, we risk the mastermind running into us. Safer to watch from further away. Hmm. We also need hard evidence to convince everyone the mastermind's identity. So that's why I thought it might be a good idea to set up cameras. Um. Cameras? Okay. I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. With some modification, we could combine the two. And have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. Set up a few in the library and capture proof of the mastermind. We don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we are less likely to be caught. I see. That's a really good idea. But do you know how to modify camera? That's... Well, I don't know how. That's why I wanted to ask Miu. The ultimate adventure could help us. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. But... She's pretty intimidating, so I'm having trouble talking to her by myself. That's right. In that case, we should ask her together. Uh, um... I saw Miu heading to the dining hall. Things should still be there. Is that all right? But we should be careful about what we tell her. She might be it. She might be it. As in, Mio might be the mastermind. I doubt it, but yeah, that's what you think. Yep, that's what you think. Actually, what is he up to, by the way? As well, let's talk to him real quick. Uh, um... I saw Mio heading to the dining hall. Okay, sorry. never mind. Kare, I'm sorry to ask, oh, ask you to do this. No. Don't worry about it. I promised I would help you out. Come on, let's head to the dining hall. Should we head to the dining hall or should we head to the music lab? I do wonder actually. Oh, that's a wrong thing. Actually, now that I do, I do want to go back to the student records and read on um, Maki. Her title is the ultimate child caregiver, but she has no idea why kids like her. When I told her it was because she truly loves kids, deep down, she left in a huff. Maybe Maki has hard time. Admitting her feelings because she 
feels like she's been abandoned because she's an orphan. Perhaps, for chance, maybe she has a hard time opening up to people. I don't know yet. We st Miss Maki's still caught on a mystery. I was pushing it's all mystery to figure out what exactly she wants as a gift. Any class cannot not go. I guess I can. I guess I can go. All right, here we go for the door. I guess we have to go to the dining hall first to meet with Miyu before we can go to the lab. I guess. Oh yeah, there's still no free time, so it probably wants us to go from like location to location just in case. One. Remains of a once powerful yokai. Yeah.